Imagine you're working an office job, and you try to just think of what one of your worst days has been. And not like worst days as in, oh, I almost got fired. Not that kind of thing, but just, just you know, what constitutes a shitty day at work? And you could have a day where one really, really, really awful thing happened. Uh, but it still ended up getting, you know, resolved in the end. So it, it wasn't like a, a total... Uh, I mean, it wasn't as shitty as it could have been, but it's still, you know, what you still think of uh, when it comes to the worst days. Or would you think that a day where, you know, if you averaged it out, about every 10 minutes, some minuscule, tiny thing uh, went wrong? Um, you know, you go you go to write on something the first time, and and the pen uh, breaks, and uh, you have to get rid of the pen in a certain way as to not get that kind of gel-like ink that you find in ballpoint pens. Uh, you know, you just try to make sure you dispose of it without it getting on anything, and then you go get another one, and it's uh, uh, you know, that one just won't write. Um, even though it's supposed to be one of the, the better ones. But you eventually find something to write with, and you take care of that. And then, you know, ten minutes later, uh, you find that your computer keyboard, two keys on it, just stop working. Okay, well, you replace that. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, then in the, uh, in the break room, you find that the coffee... Yeah, nobody told you to be careful with a uh, with a coffee pot because there's a little crack in it, and you go to set it down for just a moment while you get your glass ready, um, and the whole thing shatters. And uh, uh, I mean, it's not one of those huge ones that you sometimes see at places. It's just a regular coffee pot, um, Chester coffee pot. Um, but it shatters. And you don't really get much on you, and people come help you. Uh, you clean it up and say, "Hey, I'm sorry, man. I should have told you about that." And you know, everything everything's eventually fine. And they have a backup coffee maker or whatever, right? So I mean, everything everything turns out. But it was still one of those incidents. You were the one, right? And you know, just across the day, like every you know, ten maybe fifteen minutes, something negative happens. Uh. uh just sometimes really small stuff. Um, what makes you feel worse at the end of the day? What really seemed more like a bad day? The one, the thing where one incident happened that, that was still able to get resolved, but it was one really, really major incident that maybe took a couple hours to resolve or something. Um, or someone at work had a health scare or something like that, right? Um, but they were okay. Um, yeah, which, which makes, constitutes a worse day at work? What makes you feel worse at the end of the day? And to me, it would be that day where every 15 minutes, something happens. It's just one after another, after another, after another, and you're just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And even if cards aren't really stacked against you, it feels like it. Now, think about what I've just said here in contrast to what different, um, what people of different demographics go through. And then also what, you know, obviously what people go through on individual levels, but there are other levels that people go through things that, you know, if it's one after another after another, you know, just in a day when, when you, they go about things and they notice that other demographics get treated a little bit differently or are looked at differently by businesses, it builds up. It feels like shit. And, you know, I'm not going to push it forth on any 
one particular demographic. This is, you know, how, what do men experience? What do women experience? What do gay people experience? And what do lesbians experience? What do trans people experience? You know, what do white people experience? What do black people experience? What do, do, do Asian people experience? You know, when you, when you average out what different demographics tend to go through, you know, what, what do we experience? Again, this is not to say that what a demographic goes through is, is necessarily reflective of what, you know, an individual goes through, um, or the other way around. It's a generalized statement. And the amount of detail one would have to go into to not make that generalized statement goes above and beyond what is necessary and what would be a video anyone would want to watch. So.